My wife. God, I love the sound of that. I wish this could go on forever. Aha! Okay, okay, how about a Franklin Smith of Liverpool? No. All right, wait a minute. <gasps> There's an Edna Smith or a Charlie, a Chucky Smith. Lucy, come on, this is ridiculous. You are not going to find my relatives on a genealogy website. You know what? I am, because that's exactly how I found my relatives, the Kovages. Okay, let me rephrase this. You're not going to find any relatives alive. I've told you a hundred times I don't have any living family. Yes, you have. You told me ad nauseum. And I've told you, the cards tell me that ain't so. Why is this so important to you? For goodness sake, I would think this would be obvious. If I do not figure out why you're here and what journey you're on, then you are going to haunt us for the rest of our lives. <sighs> What's going on? you're here with me. I need you. I tried to tell you, sweetheart. I tried to tell you that Ian Thornhart is nothing but a cold, ruthless murderer. How could I have been so stupid? He doesn't love me. He never did. He just used me. He took from me. He took from me the only man that ever really loved me. And I still love you, my darling, more than ever. Hey, you're still my little girl. Oh, Papa. I'm sorry. Shh. You mustn't worry. There's still time. Yes, there is. No one has figured out who I am. They have no idea that I'm your daughter. I can still do it and I will, Papa. I'll make sure that Ian Thornhart is dead. On your birthday. Just like I promised. Dr. Campbell, physical therapy. Well, go on, open it. A picture of Amy and some guy you think is her father. What's the big deal? Well, I don't know. But I do know that she wanted to make damn sure that nobody saw that picture. And it's my gut feeling that Mr. X, he's the reason why. I don't want to see this. Well, sure you do. No, I don't. Ian and I are back. We're perfect. We're in love. Oh, great. I'm thrilled. <sighs> there she is. I told you we'd find her. You owe me a dollar. Hey, my buddy. Hey. Hi. <sighs> Put your little pink cheeks. <laughs> the uh, dinner ended abruptly. Um, so I got the kid and thought we'd find you, see if you're ready to go home. Yes, I'm certainly ready to go home. Are you ready? You've had a long day, haven't you? Yeah. You're my buddy. You've had a long day. What do you think? Did you miss your mommy? <laughs> Did you miss your mommy? Hey, you know what? I'll, uh, hold down the fort here if you want to get out. Yeah, okay, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. Here, take this. Sure. <laughs> Sorry, I dropped it. Hey, no problem. Get it for me, will ya? Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> Don't bother thanking me. Yeah. I think you'll be thanking me a little bit later. Dr. Reinson, I see you. Dr. Russ, Reinson, I see you. So, uh, just what are you doing? Uh, well, yeah, 
It's really very simple, actually. The um, cards have told me over and over and over again that Paige has some relative, some connection here in Port Charles. And I figure for her to complete her journey, she has to figure out what that connection is. So I am just simply just trying... Just trying to help. Well, I'm impressed. I mean, I've been searching day and night for the past three months to try and figure out why I'm here. All Lucy has to do is flip over a few cards and presto, she has the answer. Yes, I do. And you know what? I don't care if you believe me or not, because I believe enough for all of us. What about you, Kevin? I mean, you don't honestly believe this nonsense, do you? Oh, God. Don't tell me. Look, look, I honestly don't know what to believe. I mean, I'm having a hard enough time looking at you knowing that you're an angel. An angel, yes, yes. I know, which I'm not fully yet, at least, and I'm not going to be if we don't stop looking at these silly cards. But what I have learned is not to underestimate my wife. Thank you. Even though she tends to go overboard once in a while. Doc, Lucy, you need to back off just a little bit. Besides, we all agreed what was most important right now is finishing Paige's portrait. Yes, and the sooner we finish it, the sooner I'll be able to take it home where it belongs and hang it in the hall with the others. Home. Back to London. Well, yes, of course. That's where all of the uh, Smith portraits are hung. Yes, of course. It's really very simple, isn't it? Good. Paint, Doc. That's, that's what you need to do. You need to paint. Paint, paint, paint. Right now. Go ahead. What are you doing? Well, I'm going to sit right here and watch you. Paint, paint, paint. Go ahead. No, you're not. Yeah, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not, Lucy, because I can't paint and play referee between you two. If you want this thing to be finished, you have to leave us alone. Since when did you become Mr. Sensitive Artist? Okay. Okay, fine. I'll just be mosey and then... Thank you for understanding. I do understand. You're welcome, but listen. Mm -hmm. Get busy. Okay. Go. Okay. You have to forgive her. Mm -hmm. Do I? Come on, give her a break. This has all been a little more than amazing for all of us. Yes, I know, but... You like don't... I said, Lucy's instincts are not something that I would just dismiss out of hand. And who knows? She might be right. Maybe you are connected to someone. But who? And why is Lucy so certain that that person is here in Port Charles? Evening, Chris. Now, how did you know I was here? Well, snakes make a distinctive sound when they slither across the floor. That's very cute. Hmm. Why are you staring at me? Not really staring, I was just thinking. Oh, heaven help us. Uh, you remember uh, a while back how you issued that little challenge for me? Challenge? Yeah, you know, discovering your, your secrets, uncovering the truth. Oh, what a relief. I thought you had forgotten it. No, on the contrary, I've been working rather hard on it. I've discovered interesting things, too. The proverbial dog with a bone. So, what will you fetch me now, Robert? Well, for starters, you really do resemble your father. It's a beautiful night. Mm. You say we sit down and enjoy it. You up for that? Yes. Come on, little man. <laughs> ah. Ah. Kind of in a strange mood tonight, aren't you? Yeah, I guess I am. Does it have anything to do with your dinner with Amy? <sighs> I screwed up. What'd you do, Ian? Well, I failed to mention to her that the reason I asked her for dinner was to tell her that you and I are back together. And then when you didn't show up, she got the wrong idea. Great. And, I, you know, I, I know where she's coming from as well, because the last time I talked to her, all marriage was on the rocks, and then I asked her to dinner, so we should talk. And she thought that you were going to leave me for her. It's okay. I'm so stupid. No, 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 no. Listen, that was your fantasy all along. It's okay. So how'd she take it when you told her the truth? Well, I was a wee bit embarrassed. But in the end, she wished us well, I think. Well, good. Now she can move on. Oh. Come here, buddy. Just think I could handle it better, that's all. Mm -hmm. You're my bud. You know what? She is a strong woman, Ian. She'll move on. Yeah. Ooh. Well, she's leaving in a few days to start her life over. Start a new life. Oh, oh, She'll be all right. Here, sweetheart. Oh, Oh. Paige, whatever your journey is, I'm sure you'll find it. And I have to believe that whatever that is, it must be something worthwhile. Me too. Somehow I believe that I must be connected to it. I used to believe that, but... Well, uh, for a reason. 
Look, when you came to Port Charles, your first instinct was to come to me. Well, that's because I wanted to see you one last time. I'm glad you did. Even though I've been this dark cloud hanging over your family no, ever since look, I got Paige, here. Paige, my close call was my own fault. And Christina's just a little girl who happened to get sick. Yes, and me, the angel of death, ready to take both of you over to the other side. But you didn't. That wasn't your purpose. But I'm sure that finishing your portrait will lead you there somehow. You're very sweet to say that. I mean it. And I'm sorry that you were taken before you had a chance to do everything you wanted to do. Don't be sad. You are my friend, Paige. My best friend. And I'm just so sorry that you died. Shout out from the rooftops that I am your wife and you are my husband. So you're really not disappointed that we didn't have a real wedding with all the tremics? What? No. No, this was as, as real and as beautiful as any wedding could get when two people are really, truly mm. in love. I couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you. <laughs> but there just there was one little thing that... I wish maybe it would have been different. What? I mean, our friends weren't here to celebrate oh, it with them. Yeah. Lucy, Lucy would have loved this. And, and Serena, yeah. she would have gone nuts over the whole thing. Yeah, and Livy and Jack, they would have loved it. And my Nana, I'm so sorry, my grandmother, <laughs> she would have loved it. Hey, you know what? Why don't we have a big wedding after all? What? Yeah, that would be great. I could, I could meet your parents. Oh, yeah, I, I, uh, I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? They'd have to come. Yeah, um, they would really try. But I'm sure that my dad would get called away on business or something to London on an emergency trip. And my mom, she, she really loves Paris this time of the year. I'm sure it would be really hard for her to get away. Come on, they can't be that bad. No, they're not. They're not, they're not terrible people at all. They're, they just should have never have had a child. Don't they know what they're missing? Don't they know what an incredible, amazing, beautiful daughter they have? A daughter that could bring them so much happiness if they would just let her. No, they can't know. Otherwise, they could never stand to leave her. Any more than I can. Drop this. Oh, oh, thanks. Just put it back in my purse. It's okay, sweetie, huh? Oh, goodness. You just wanted to be with your mommy and daddy, didn't you? Yeah, that's when it's yes, happiest. Yes, you did. When it's just the three of us. <gasps> that reminds me. Here. Come here. What? I have something. A surprise for you. Well, actually, it's for all of us. I'll okay. open it for you. <laughs> okay. What does she have? Yay! Okay, here we go. La, la, la. What was that, a, a brochure to some kind of resort or something? Oh, Ian, it it's the most wonderful resort in the whole world. White, sandy beaches, it's beautiful, and best of all, they love kids. A vacation? You, me, and Danny, the three of us, what do you say? I say, when do we leave? <gasps> yes! Oh, mm -hmm. man. There's no one deserves fun in the sun more than the Thornhearts. Yay! Right? The Thornhearts' first family vacation! Yay! Well, it's also our honeymoon, isn't it? Nothing. Everything's perfect. Because 
And it's going to stay that way, isn't it, Lana? I love you so much. I love you. Not just for one night. But for always. Yeah. You think you're a man. And I love you. <laughs> How would you know I look like my father? Well, you remember that little snapshot I told you about, the one taken in Philadelphia, the one you claimed you weren't in? Well, it turns out that was a father-daughter weekend. So? So, I could only assume that the man standing behind you, looking so admiringly at you, was your, was your dear old dad. I mean, the image was kind of blurry and I couldn't quite make it out, but then I got the idea, hey, why not have it blown up and digitally enhanced. You know, it's amazing what computers can do these days. This is crazy. Okay, you know what? I believe the word here is gotcha. Okay, now let's add up what we know. Uh, well, your name can't be straddling because you had a necklace on that said A.H. And whoever old man H is, well, he must have been a real SOB for you to be so ashamed to, to let anyone know that you were related to him. I am not ashamed of my father. He was a wonderful and brilliant man and he loved me. He's a hundred times the man that you'll ever be. Huh. Seems I've struck a nerve. I want that picture, Chris. Why? I would like somebody I can trust to take a look at it for me. That's obviously the only way you're gonna get off my back. Okay, sure, no problem. I'll give you the picture. Oh, wait a minute, there is a problem. I can't give you the picture because it's already in Eden Lambert's purse. I put it there. You did what? Yeah, see, I don't think she really knows about it just yet, but she will find it soon enough. Well, well that's me, I gotta run. Hey, this is this has been a lot of fun. You have a nice night. Ready? Is it Is it finished? Come and have a look. How to describe it? It's even, it's even better than I dreamed of. Oh, Doc, it's beautiful. It, it's beautiful. I knew you could do it. I knew you. So I had to thank you. Finally, my portrait will hang in the family gallery. Finally, I'm going home. Well, correction, we're going. What? All three of us, we're going to London. What are you talking about? Lucy, I, I thought you wanted this to be finished. It is. I bad. do, I do, but it's not quite finished. Paige, this this huge ancestral home of yours where you want to hang your portrait, does it have like a, a, a family archive, a history, a Bible, or something well, like that? Yes, of course. Why? Because. I know that we're going to find out your connection to someone here in Port Charles right there at your home. I, I can feel it. We'll find out why you're here. L Lucy. Lucy, wait. No, I told no, you. wait. No, this isn't up for discussion. This isn't a request. Look, you dropped out of the clouds, out of nowhere, right into my family's life. You disrupted everything, and I was very accommodating. I don't know how many wives would put up with their husband's old lovers hanging out in an attic with them, you know? Especially somebody that came from heaven. So... I want to go back with you. I want to see your journey completed. That's the least you can do. So, Doc, come on, pack your bags. We're going to London. My name's Rafe Kovic. I'm, I'm a friend of Allison's. Actually, I'm, I'm a very good friend. Uh, yeah, L listen. There's something I need to do for her, okay? Hey. Huh. Well, maybe the light bulb burnt up. Can't be. I just replaced it. That's strange. I wonder what happened then. It's 
Stay tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Secrets. Thanks to Port Charles. You're done. No, I'm not done. And all of a sudden, you know everything about dying? Yeah, I do. Okay, I know everything about it. Ian, I told you not to sneak up on me like that. 